A bomb being prepared on the back of a truck. The target, a nearby Syrian government checkpoint at the entrance of the city of Aleppo. This video was shot by reporters for the New York Times who spent five days with a group that fights under the banner of the Free Syrian Army. The group call themselves the Lions of Tabweed and say they'll accept nothing less than the end of the regime of President Bashar al-Assad. This 52-man unit is led by a former accountant and is becoming increasingly organised as the bloody battle for the city of Aleppo continues. They've taken over the abandoned flat of a police captain loyal to the regime who's left his personal possessions behind. As well as the family photos, they're also enjoying the luxuries he once had. <laughs> At their base, the group have a prisoner. They say he's a member of the Shabiha militia, which is loyal to the government, and that he's confessed to carrying out killings. He bears the bruises of a beating, it's said from those who'd held him before tonight. The rebels appear to be treating him well, offering him cigarettes and a shower, and he's told that he'll be released as part of a prisoner exchange. Blindfolded, he's driven towards the city. He's told all he'll have to do is drive the truck towards a government checkpoint. What he doesn't know is the truck is the one that's been rigged with a 300 kilo bomb. The rebel fighters intend to detonate it remotely when he approaches the checkpoint. He's being tricked into being an unwitting suicide bomber. But the fighters return disappointed. When they press the detonator, the bomb failed to explode. The New York Times journalists who filmed all of this say that at the time they were not aware of the rebels' intentions. <laughs> Using prisoners as suicide bombers would certainly be considered a war crime. And whilst those opposing President Assad have said they respect the rights of prisoners, this video shows what some rebel fighters are willing to do. Gordon Carrera, BBC News. Venezuela's president, Hugo Chavez, has declared three days of mourning for the victims of a huge oil refinery explosion. The blast killed at least 39 people and injured more than 80 others. Fires continue to burn at the Amway refinery in the northwest state of Falcón. But the state governor says they're under control. The shootout shut down Midtown New York City on Friday morning. Jeffrey Johnson, who just shot and killed a former co-worker, is seen here on surveillance video whirling on pursuing police and drawing his handgun. Police mowed Johnson down, hitting him 10 times with a combined 16 shots, according to police, who add that all nine others hit in the shootout were also victims of police fire. All nine others hit in the shootout were also victims of police fire. All nine others hit in the shootout were also victims of police fire.